Can AI mix as a fashionista? Welcome to the show where we ask burning questions and answer them while I get ready for the day. If you're new here, hi, I'm Bonnie. Some people think that AI is gonna take over the world, but then we use Alexa. Alexa was the meaning of life. Yeah. One thing that we cannot deny is that in the past few months, we really have that feeling that AI has been evolving rapidly. There are different kinds of AI, but ChatGPT is based on deep learning techniques. Basically, you chat and they give us responses, which can be very elaborated. But hey, this chat definitely has their limitations. At the times that I use ChatGPT, I feel it especially when I ask creative questions. So, and some of the reasons for that can be the prompt that we use to ask them their questions. So what kind of actual question are you asking ChatGPT? So it can give you a more accurate answer. So this situation gave birth of a bunch of videos on TikTok of people saying, this is the best prompt you've ever known. This is a prompt that it's gonna change your life. Hey, some of these people, it seems like they have really good intentions, but they sound so scammy. And yes, it's obviously a problem the way that we communicate with the AI. But if you have a little patience, you kind of get the thrift of it. So yeah, I ask Alexa this. Alexa, what's the meaning of life? And then she doesn't really give me an answer. But then while I was using Alexa, so I realized that if I say Alexa, I make a pause and it's very clear that I'm calling her. And then I ask a question, I will get a faster and better response. Alexa, what's the meaning of life? Eleanor Roosevelt said, the purpose of life is to live it to taste experience to the utmost, to reach out eagerly and without fear for newer and richer experience. Instead of just like kind of saying it, you know, rant like I'm actually having a conversation. She needs to be activated with her name. With that in mind, let's see if ChatGPT can make us a fashionista, but especially how to ask her so we get a better response. I'm gonna cover up some blemishes. Cute. So if I ask ChatGPT, what should I wear today? The answer I get is, as an AI language model, I don't have any information about your personal preference, the weather, or the location for which you need to get dressed. However, I suggest that you check the weather forecast for your location and choose clothes accordingly. Very helpful. If it is a sunny day, you might want to wear a light and breathable clothing. Whether it's cold or rainy, you might want to opt for warmer and waterproof clothing. I guess you're right. Additionally, Consider the occasion and dress appropriately. I mean, yeah. If you're unsure, you will always go for a classic and versatile outfit that can work for a range of events. So basically, the AI is like, you are not really giving me enough information. I don't know what to do with my life. Who are you? So the question is pretty vague. Also, if I use another type of vague question like, can you pick up my outfit? I will get a very similar response to what we got before. But here's the deal. Instead of buying a prompt or something that will figure out my life, we're gonna use ChatGPT as the name suggests, like a chat. I guess communication, it's important in all kind of relationships, even with AI. Let's just ask ChatGPT. What prompt should I use for you to give me an outfit idea for today? And the answer was, sure, here's a prompt for you. Can you suggest an outfit idea for me to wear today? Please let me know the occasion, your personal style, and any reference you may have, such as color of clothing, items you want to incorporate. Cool, I can do that. So I said, can you suggest an outfit for me to wear today? The occasion, it's casual day in Chicago. My personal style, it's colorful and minimalistic. The temperature today, it's 74. Certainly. Based on your personal style and the weather in Chicago today, here's an outfit idea for you. I'm excited! You can start with a pair of high-waisted, white-like trousers in a bold color, like cobalt blue or esmeralda green. Okay, I do, I do have one of those, I think. Maybe not the exact same blue, but I do have. Pair them with a simple white t-shirt or a tank top tucked in the waist. For footwear, Opt for some comfortable low heel sandals or sleep on sneakers. Cute, comfortable. To keep the look minimalistic, keep your accessories simple with just a tiny necklace and some stud earrings. Okay. We could also carry a small cross backpack in a neutral tone like beige or tan. I think we can do neutral. It sounds pretty cute. For an extra pop of color. Okay, tell me everything. 
You could add a lightweight scarf, a complimentary hue, tie it around your neck or tie it to your bag. I mean, that's kind of fashion forward, I'm into it. This outfit is comfortable, stylish, and a perfect for a casual day in Chicago with a colorful twist. Okay, this is a way better response. With the makeup done, let's do the unthinkable. Gonna take the suggestions from the AI and make my outfit for the day. Are you ready? Let's go. Reporting from my closet. I think these pants match with the blue that it was suggested. White shirt. In the text it says that the scarf should be with a complementary color and I think I would like it to be orange. I don't know if I actually have an orange scarf. These trousers are very bold and comfy so I think it's a good start. The shirt is part of merch. Let me show you. The shoes. Probably need a pedicure but let's not focus on that. We can all agree that this side is orange. Still, it's pretty bold, which is kind of what I wanted. It would be cooler if it was just the solo colors, but we need to work the well with that. I'm gonna do the scarf like this, fold it, and after it looks like this, I'm gonna take it, wrap it, and then I'm gonna make a knot. Get a little bit more personality. Little earrings, and then the neutral purse. So what do we think? I mean, I think it's kind of bold. It looks kind of creative. It's not definitely groundbreaking, but I also didn't ask it to be groundbreaking. I asked for like colorful and minimalist, kind of classic. And I think it did deliver, to be honest. Let me know how much will you give it in the comments. So now, what's gonna happen is that I'm gonna pull this off to the test. Will it survive a regular environment? So I said on the last vlog, it was yesterday, and I'm gonna link over here somewhere, that I was gonna make a recipe. I'm gonna try to cook and see if this outfit's past the everyday test. So let's go, my loves. What do you think about this outfit? I love it. I think it's, I think it looks like the picture of spring, actually. Oh, thank you. AI made it. That's, that's pretty impressive. I'm, I kind of felt like AI was going down, but maybe it's coming back. Yeah. Hair <laughs> up. Tonight. I don't want my outfit to get dirty, but I guess that will be with any outfit, really. Onion. Beans. Parsley. The only thing that makes me feel a little bit weird, it's the scarf. I wanted to do like a regular task with the whole outfit, but I guess that normally I would just take it off. And then if I was going outside, I would actually wear it. That would make more sense. It does make me feel very fancy while I'm cooking something very simple. We're supposed to make a vinaigrette. Balsamic vinaigrette. I don't have olive oil. So I'll do it with lemon. Very small spoon. So can we say that yeah, I passed the test? I will say yes. Cooking something very simple like a salad, I was able to do it technically comfortable. I will absolutely go outside with this outfit. So can AI make you a fashionista? I think it definitely can give you ideas to slay with your photo outfits, or like everyday outfits, but I think that the best use will be a mix of both things. You know, like some ideas from the AI and then transform through the human eye. It will definitely makes it very interesting but i would like to know what you think do you think that ai can actually make you a fashionista after what you've seen what prompt do you want me to write to the ai let me know in the comments and maybe we can try another outfit asking one of your prompts and i will try to recreate it become part of the chillest sorority and click the button and subscribe see you next time <laughs>